Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here we are off for more of South Park's to get truth. I'm actually using a new setup for this particular recording. I'm actually in my own room using my HD TV with my well my cousin Michael's other system that he gave to me as an early birthday Prezi. <laughs> and the setup is a little bit different. I don't know how loud I'm gonna be. Uh, because the microphone's above me instead of in front of me. Well, it's still in front of me, but it's not on a desk in front of me. Because I don't have a desk in front of me, because I have to look at my TV still. Because unlike my laptop, the system only has a one second lag with the with the uh, Roxio. I almost said Dazzle, then that would be incorrect. But yeah, that's kind of a thing. And, uh, but yeah, um, I can, if I'm not, if I'm too quiet, I can change that in editing, because that's not that big of an issue. Hopefully as well, I won't have to keep on converting the uh, video files, so maybe ever? we have oh, okay. slightly better uh, quality from HD, but if not, we've still got the quality of HD that we've been having so far, which is great. But anyway, other than that derpiness, in the last episode, we, well, well, we got out of the sewers and Butters became MVP, we got rid of all the other hobos, and uh, that's why we're outside of City Hall right now, because we completed that side quest. And in this episode, well, we've got a, f well, I was originally going to, um, Go to. If you refer a friend, Jimbo will waive the waiting period for handguns. Well, I was just about to say that actually. Thank you, dude. We're gonna go see Jimbo because we did a bunch of his quests in the last couple of episodes as well. And I'm trying to open this. Yeah, I don't think I took everything in there. And there's also another item onwards here. Smash that out of the way. And we can reach this, which I did. Yeah, I didn't get to this either. So yeah, I completely overlooked that. But when I was doing my intro here, I just noticed it. So I thought I'd grab that quickly. Anyway, I want to get to a fast travel TV point. I don't, there doesn't seem to be one around here. There should be one onwards, right? I believe there should be. It would make sense. There is actually one up City Walk as well. So I think we'll go over there and use this fast travel TV point over here. Probably help us out. Get some loose change here. And I know that I keep saying that I'll sell off all my crap that I have in my inventory, but how, when I looked up the... Um, when I looked up how many animals to get the uh, that you need to fart on to get the abuse animals trophy or achievement whatever depending on what version you're playing, um, I found out that if you don't sell any of your stuff and beat the game, you get an achievement as well. So I might go for that. Anyway, where the hell is Jimbo? Jimbo, Jimbo. Oh, he's over here. <laughs> I guess I don't need a fast travel Timmy then. Timmy, indeed. And can I actually pick this stuff up now? No, I'm still maxed out on healing Have potions. You heard? Taco Bell is coming to South Park. We finally made it. Yo, it's Last a hoax, baby. You guys got more? Ah. Yeah. Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke. Take your stupid hair and leave. Well, screw you guys then. I guess that's the th these are the dudes we're gonna have to deal with in order to get the cigarettes, in order to um, talk to the golf kids, because that's what we're gonna do in this episode as well. We're gonna go um, see if we can progress the plot a bit, because we've been lagging behind on that. Because uh, I really want. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to hit you. I was just knocking over the bloody rubbish. And if I could buy the katana here, that'd be amazing. If not, then oh well. But if I can, that'd be awesome. Do I talk to you first? Remember, you can legally kill anything in self-defense. Is that a good thing? What can I do for you, new kid? Uh, big game hunter. All right. Looks like that bat sucked its last fruit. Because we took care of that in the that last episode. Making us all look bad in more ways than one, isn't it? Speak for yourself. I and can't that was wait the, to see what you killed next. And that was in the main thing. Now, every time that you kill something, I believe something new appears in the shop. So, that would be excellent. Let's see what we got here. A warrior's longsword. I still can't get the sweet katana. Wait, can I at least buy it? I should be able to at least buy it. Because look how powerful that is. Rend. It destroys armor. I should be wearing my glasses in case if I don't read it correctly. That is a thing, because I'm way too far away from the TV. Remember that for the next episode. Um, yes. Um, and of course, we might get the Warrior's Longsword actually here, because it is more powerful than what we're using. Definitely. Gain attack up after a perfect attack. Weapon damage increases times free armor value, which is awesome. And perfect attack hits the target plus the enemy behind, so it has very long reach. I think it's a double handed weapon though, so it might slow us down. That could be a thing. We've also got the wooden crossbow here, which is a long-range weapon, but we're not going to be able to get the crossbow with impalement quite yet, and that's quite pricey. But it can hit a complete row of enemies, hits for extra damage strong against armor. Look how much power!
all of that has. That is insane. It's not insane. That's more like ridiculous. Jesus. And this one gives you perfect attack, reduces shields by three. So, once again, quite helpful. Has good reach. An extra hard hit. Hits for extra damage, strong against armor as well. Holy crap, this is really good stuff. Can I buy this? Yes, I can. That helps. Okay, I'm not going to be able to buy that. Actually, I could. You know what? I'll buy that as well because we'll use it whenever we get the chance. Once we hit level 14 or something. But for now, um... Ooh, what do I want here? I mean, that is weaker. No, I'm not going to get the wound crossbow. I'll, get, I'll probably get the, lo the warrior's longsword and just see what I can do with it. Because we are the correct level to use it, actually. So that's a thing. Now would actually be a good idea to sell my stuff, but... Uh, I don't know. Deflect 15% more damage when you block. That sounds like a good one. Wooden hilt. Deflect more damage when you block. Oh, they're all the exact same thing. It's just more percentage for the higher level you are. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using them. Sword and shield patch. Gain two people when you block an attack. Okay. Not really anything else interesting here. Buyback? What's that? Oh, I guess if you sell something, you can get it back, but whatever. Yeah, so... Plastic Vampire Teeth. Wait. Okay. Animal Testicle. Oh, these are the prizes that we got for... knocking out the enemies. That's what that, that's what I was talking about. I completely forgot. And we have an upgrade available, so let's go sort out that quickly. I know, we've already done about six minutes, and we haven't done anything yet. Oh, if only I could equip that. If only. I need to double my level effectively for that. Wait, where's that, uh, sword? Where is it? It's here. Mm. No, it's a normal weapon. It's a normal weapon. Penetrates 20 enemy armor, but this one... Well, weapon, weapon damage increases three times your armor value. Perfect attack hits the enemy from behind the gate attack. Perfect attack. I think I'm going to go with this. I mean, it's it's a massive, a massive upgrade. So let's modify this and, well, demodify it even. Let's take that off. Let's go back down to the, the this weapon here. And we're going to actually equip two. This is awesome. Okay, so we're doing some good upgrading here. Shock damage to perfect attack. I don't know if I want to do shock still. Drain 50 HP from bleeding targets. I think that'll be an upgrade for our throwing weapon because... We're only draining up to 10 HP, so we can't we can't possibly lose now. I think I might have gross damage. That might be a thing. Fire damage. I can't actually equip that. That's a shame. Where did I get that? Oh, well, I'll have that. And this one I'll have... Um, ignores up to armor. I think I'll have a, a little bit of armor ignoring, because that, that could help as well. Wait, what else do we have here? Five damage to weapon... 10% more. Yeah, I think I'm good to go here. So, we'll go with that. So, that's a good ensemble right there. Plus, I've got a weapon now, which is awesome. So, instead of a freaking dildo all the time. Yeah, well, I still want to stick with this for now. It's the best we've got. And we right now, we're draining 25 HP from every attack. But now, we're going to upgrade that to 50. So, we pretty much effectively doubled that effect as well. And, yeah. That's, that's excellent. That's really, really good. I, I think our time was well spent. As well as our money well spent. So, um, let me see. We need to go to Tweaks. Because we pretty much did some multitasking right there. In fact, let's go test out our newfound power. I love that sound when you swing. It's so cheesy and yet so effective. Shing, shing, shing! Go on, let's see our newfound power I'm in action. The merciful of the, well, uh, the Knights of Can Hardiness. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so uh, let's see what the Roy's Longsword can do against Man, you. I could be watching TV right now. Yeah, well, they were, didn't have those in the olden days, but what they did have was a poison weapon. <coughs> I messed it up. <coughs> oh my god, oh my god. Even though I messed that up, I still knocked him out. Okay, that was interesting. I think we might have to try that again at some point. <coughs> the post stands, so I can't actually hit him now. That's a shame. <coughs> Got him. Bloody hell, the damage. Damage is insane. I'm gonna have to do another battle and find out because I completely buggered it up on this one. Oh, All the HP! I can't, I can't possibly lose anymore. If I ever need HP, just chuck that bottle and I get always I always get the perfect on the bottle. I don't know how I messed up the strong attack though. Oh. oh. There we go. Got it. Speed potion as well. That's awesome. If I bump into anybody else, I'm gonna fight them because I need to find out how powerful this weapon really is without squandering the opportunity. 
I clearly did here. I think this is actually for later today as well. Well, today in terms of the games today, not today where I'm recording this. Because I'm recording this quite late once again, and I don't know how long, how many I can actually fit in. Hopefully two or three. I really want to step it up. Try and get back to my one uh, upload a day kind of thing, because my rendering is, time is pretty much halved since... I know I could run to, uh, I could just use fast travel to me to get the tweaks, but like I said, I want to fight stuff if possible. Don't want to go back down there yet. It's like totally the awesome stick is like, Yoy! Like, I missed! I missed twice! Over here! Bloody Al Gore trying to get our attention again. We're saving him for, like, the last thing, because it's, it's a very tough mission. What, what are we waiting for? Yeah, Buzz, getting the action. Okay, so apparently I can do a three times combo power attack as well. Let's see if that's the thing. Oh. No, if you mess it up. But my god, I almost won the battle in one hit! I just one shot the dude behind him, and I almost took this dude out as well. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't believe it. I, I, I can't believe I am just at the right level for this weapon. I could I can do anything. I could do anything. I think we might change our idea and go for some Jimbo quests right now. Sorry, Buzz, I stepped you up the butt. And I'm stuck on a two-dimensional plane again. Why does that keep happening? Anyway. Oh, yeah, I can't get that yet. That's for later. Oh, well. Let's go into tweaks. With our newfound power, nothing can stop us. Ha <laughs> ha! And, you know that little, t that split in the story that I was talking about? Then it just joins back up. I'm, I am definitely going to be recording both versions, because even though it's both pretty much exactly the same, there are a few changes, and it's better just to do a uh, version A and a version B of every episode, and just do it that way. Plus, it's more content for you guys, in case you want to watch it, so... And if you don't want to spoil yourself in the other direction, you have the choice! And I'll probably upload them both on the same day, just so that people have the choice as well. That's kind of like an idea I have for this series. Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield, ready for harvest. Indeed. Okay, so I think we need to... Ooh, Speed Pulse and Ultra. This rare blend raises attack and lets you attack again. It's basically that, but it's a power upgrade as well. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, we need to buy the Dark Roast. That's required, and that's why it's cheap. And I just noticed that my TV glitched up there. That might be something. But anyway, let me buy this. And hmm. Don't think I want to buy anything else. I mean we need we definitely need this dark roast. The rich coffee blend to fill the sucking void of your soul caused by the deadly hipsters of the world. You can buy multiple yeah, ones, but you don't need to. People, well, they usually end up texting or just looking at your phones. Anyway, we need to get that. That was a quest item, and I don't Which think of we can our buy local? more. Can we buy more? Yeah, you can actually buy more. I don't know if it does anything though. It doesn't say it, does You will it? never get laid looking like that, kid. Oh! Stab you in the knee for that comment. Anyway! Oh, God. Oh, God. Um. Well, I'm boxed in. Let's do this. Hey, there he is. New kid! New kid! The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly, or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. I do not approve, good sir. I have newfound power. You I know... You wisely, new kid. Oh, come with us. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, well. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. What I was about to do was actually fight them. Oops, I dropped my controller. I'm an idiot. Like I said, new setup. I'm an idiot. <laughs> what I was about to do was actually fight them because even if you win, if you try to fight them, you'll automatically fail the battle anyway. It's sequenced to happen. So, oh well, I I flubbed that one up. Sorry, but I'm not getting rid of my newfound power and doing this again. So, I will nobly walk down this pathway. So you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? Scathling, good sir. King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. Excuse you. Don't just assume. I'm really chatty. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. 
We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Carmen's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. You make an interesting point, good sir. So... I'm our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Basically, what just happened was uh, Butters and Kenny have been se we've been separated from Butters and Kenny, and Cooper Keep have no idea what's go what's going on with us and the Elven Kingdom at the moment. And um, we now have well Stan and well, pff, oh, what's his name? Oh wait, I forgot what we had this as well. But if I just go to the party, I can just talk about it. So yeah, we've lost Kenny and Buzz. Uh, wait, they're not available yet. Okay, well, he just said that we have Stan and Jimmy available, so I was just talk about him now anyway. Stan follows the way of the warrior, relying on sharpness with his wits and sword. Uh, Stan's trusty animal companion, Sparky, can be called him into battle or commanded to pee on certain obstacles. With the marked for death, which strikes... Wait, well, Stan shines his laser pointer of the, ra of the ranger on the target's crotch, uh, sending Sparky to attack. And the Discus of Might heals a deadly disc to the target. It's pretty much like a shield throw. Um, this can be chained around random targets, so it can bounce. It can like ricochet off of multiple targets. So that's pretty awesome. So it's a very good hard uh, multi-hit in attack. The Whirlwind Slash. Dan executes a spinning sword attack with his multiple foes. It's pretty much a spin attack from Zelda. Hits multiple targets with a melee attack instead of a throw item. And we do not get that one until he's level well, we're level 10, because apparently we all share the same level in a way. And then, of course, wrong button. <laughs> of course, we have Jimmy the um, the Bard, which we had to fight. Jimmy the Crippled Bard. He is a bard, a, music a master musician and entertainer that brings... Uh, what did I say? Booms. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, I haven't got my glasses and I don't want to be cutting. Like I said, new setup. <laughs> this is so derpy. Curses his foes, outside of battle he can be commanded to access special uh, bardic access shortcuts, which is kind of uh, interesting as well, even though I forget how that works. Uh, power cord, Jimmy rocks out with his loot out, going to PP to the party, so that's pretty much a PP recovery upon command there. Um, stop pressing that button, I've got my finger on the wrong trigger. Song of Buffiness, uh, Buffiness even, he sings a song that weakens the enemies while making the party stronger. I think that's uh, Maiden from Stormberry Hollow. And Lullaby sings the enemies to sleep, preventing them from taking turns until they uh, take damage or wake up naturally, which he used in that boss fight against him before we wrecked him. And once again, he has a skill that we can't use yet, and I'm not going to read it until we actually have it unlocked. But yes, we've still got our mission to recruit the golf kids, only that we've now got to change a party, and once we get the golf kids, um, oh yeah, I found all of the uh, fast travel Timmy points now, so I got that as a friend request, because uh, I got all 12 out of 12. But anyway, as I was about to say before I got interrupted by that sudden friend request or whatever, um, yeah, the story still continues like normal, it's not at the split yet, but once we have recruited the golf kids, that's when the split will begin. Just letting you know. So, um, when it comes to that point, you'll probably see two of these videos. Because the content is pretty much the same, it's just different. Uh, just slightly different depending on who you're playing with. So if you're playing with the elves, it's the elves. And if you're playing with the uh, humans, it's the humans. It's pretty much how it works. So, like I said, the content will be pretty much similar. So I might as well just upload them both on the same Any ally of the Elf King is an ally of mine. And my shop is open to you. And the elves have better stuff in their shop. Sadly, I haven't got the money, and I'm trying to... Well, I would actually like to sell my stuff now, but like I said, I want to actually hold on to it now, because you get the... I think it's called the Hoarder Trophy or something. But I don't think we need to buy anything, other, unless it's good equipment, but I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Yeah, the elf blade is, like, weaker than what we already have, so we don't need it. The raider's blade's also pretty interesting. And it's actually what we need to use at this level, but... It's kind of ridiculous. I think you have to get one of every item as well in order to get uh, to get an achievement. It's pretty much like a 100% collection kind of thing. So that's kind of an annoying thing as well. So you got to buy every piece of crap in the game. So we've got longbow. We've got rescuer's bow. But I can't use... Oh, no, it's a recurve bow. Excuse me. But that is quite powerful, actually. But we can't use it until we're level 9. So... 
don't know if I want to buy that or not. I mean, it can fire four and perfect hit. If I give it bleed and then absorb, because it has got two slots, I could make that work with the same abilities I do have. But there's no point paying for it now because I can't buy it yet. So, but don't worry, you won't be locked out on this. So, minstrel's gloves, that's four armor. Uh, wait, solo fight. Gain, gain attack up if your buddy dies. That's actually quite interesting. I'll buy that just for general purposes, in case of that is a thing that keeps happening too often. Um, that could be good with Kenny, actually. If Kenny ever goes and you can't revive him, get a bit of an attack boost. Kind of reminds me of those of that alien battle. All we're doing is stocking up in this episode. God damn it. That's 10 armor, reducing enemy attacks. Can't even buy it anyway. I haven't got enough money. So yeah, I'm kind of low. Um, I don't think we need to get anything else at all. We've got a small nail, we've got a roll of quarters. That's 50 damage to weapon attack. Uh, 50 damage to weapon attacks? Wow, that's a boost. Attacks are not up to 30% armor. Ooh, get them both. Okay, I'm skin. <laughs> I'm skin. Yep, that's all really good. So um, I definitely want to go back to my equipment one last time here for this video, hopefully. Unless we do have to change. But that ignores up to 5 armor and that is useless. So you want to... Where is it? It's here, isn't it? Um... Uh, and always up to 30 armor. That's definitely better than what we have now, so... That's definitely an upgrade from what we originally upgraded with, so... Excellent! Our Talk to everybody trusted, here. That doesn't mean I have to. Because we might get phone requests. The humans have raised banners around town, claiming elf territory for their own. So saith the Well of Insight. Plus, it's all over Twitter. The Well says balance can be restored only if a chosen one were to fuck up their banners. Restoring the balance. New quest open to us. I know I haven't used that upgrade yet. I haven't actually gone to my abilities, so maybe I should do that right now. Uh, I'll go for that because I use that more often than anything else. Okay, and yeah, this is quest, so active right now. Uh, restoring the balance. Destroy all the human banners that were placed around town. Destroy the human banner placed on Mr. Slave's neighborhood. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this quest before, to be perfectly honest. So. There's five of them. Okay, so we've got a new quest to do. I don't know if I'll get around to doing that or not, but we'll have to see. And we're able to explore this house now as well. Oh my god, we're already at 20 minutes. Are you serious? We've done nothing in this episode other than stocking up. I think I might have to do another episode today and just immediately do what we were originally going to do. But we have made slight bit of progress. We've done major, major upgrades. So I'll quickly explore this uh, house quickly. Might as well. Because otherwise we're just going to miss out on stuff. Probably more references here. Yep, I it's the Chewy hat. I remember that. From the um, Star Wars. Uh, I guess that's thing. cool. Ah, now we've just completed an underpants. Right, we've collected all five underpants. Funny thing is, we've just completed a quest. Even though we haven't actually got the quest yet. So, that actually helps us out. <laughs> So, that's kind of interesting. Sorry, I just broke your guitar. No, wait, it's supposed to be, uh, Kyle's. Excuse me. Oh, well. Spin glue! Okay. Just making sure I haven't missed anything, like a chimp Pokemon or anything random like that. Because I, I want to try and get everything if possible, but like I said, this ain't a playthrough. It's just a let's play. Keep mentioning that. Get everything here. Small locket. Uh... Oh! Bogovsky cat. Okay, okay, we've got the garage key so we can do that before we end this episode off. And uh, we've got a red wig there. Is there anything else we can break here? Do we just get some stuff? No one's gonna moan at us anyway. Can we break the mirror? No, we can't. Damn it. Ceramic shard, whatever. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. I'm rushing here, because I'm trying to get as much progress as possible. I'm gonna go for a dump, because that's always a thing. I haven't taken one all day! At least light a match. <laughs> At least light a match. Well, you want to turn it into a bomb or something? I'll take that just in case. We've got... We haven't been using gross out that much, but... Give us a bit of clean anyway. There we go. I don't know why, the game would start to lag for a bit there. Got acne, if you ever wanted it. Mr. Hanky construction set. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing else in here, so... Let's leave. I'm going to leave that shower on, because why the hell not? And let's leave and check the garage. And we're getting auto-saving. A little bit late. And there's the golf kid as the loading thing. 
It's actually taking quite a while here. There we go. Well, I say taking quite a lot of a while, it probably wasn't. Anyway, I'll smash you. You have slain the mighty frost giant. I stand in awe of you, hero. Right. Oh, it's your Pokemon. <laughs> Indeed. Cows mine tops and a small magnet. Oh, and we've got a Parkisologist. That means we've checked every um, garage. It, we've opened every garage in South Park that requires a key, I believe. Because we still haven't checked one that won't open. It's a little gap under the thing, but we can get in there later. But we have opened every single one with a key, so that's good to know. Anyway, what is this? 20% additional money. Oh, okay, so it's more It's more of that swag set. I'll call it that. The gangster set. I think it's called that, actually. But yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, well, that's for later as well, because we can't get in there yet. So, I think we'll go for the... Um, I think we can actually go for those um, cigarette kids now and get the cigarettes. If I do that, that'll be enough progress for this episode and I'll end it off. Here's some fast travel. Timmy, I know I could have went back into the garden and killed the uh, elf kingdom and did it that way, but I don't think. We need to go back to Jimbo's. <laughs> and it did it! It actually... Hello, Timmy. So that's how you trigger that cutscene. You have to be, fr you have to find all travel Timmy points, and then he actually goes Tim Man, and you get that little cutscene as well. I think that's the only time it happens, though, unless it happens every time you reload your file or something. I actually need the loose change here, so let's do that. Can I grab anything here? Nope. Okay, screw that idea. These guys are gonna get wrecked. This is gonna take about what a minute or so at the most. If I can do it now. Take your stupid hair and leave. Take. Why do I have to wait? Do I have to... Oh, I have to equip the golf here, don't I? God dang it. I haven't got a new perk yet either, so... God damn, that's so stupid. Okay, where's the uh, golf wig? Oh, it was an emo wig. I think I have to have that equipped. Take your stupid hair and leave. Wait, what? Take your stupid hair and leave. Uh, I'm confused. Ah! Oh, there we go. We just had to hit them in order to do it. Okay, I guess I'm finishing with emo hair now. I'm an idiot. You have to actually provoke him. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion. Indeed. So we might be able to actually see what he can do in this battle, unless I kill them too quickly. Whack him! Oh my god, almost. I just half their HP effectively. So Stan gets a nice sword right there. Nice double-handed sword. Uh, marked for death. Let's try one of his abilities. Let's try the whirlwind slash. Yeah, it, hit, it hits all targets. That's very, very cool. You could say that these guys are OP, but I just do think Make that's still OP. Like the, episode, the name of the last episode. So, mash X, mash X, then press square when you see the star. Okay. So... There we go. Got it. So that's... How so when you see the shine, that's when you press square, but when you're spinning, you mash the X button. Oh my god, that punch is a well delayed, even when the thing does show up underneath you. At least they're poisoned. Alright, you know what? I've taken damage and I haven't got butters anymore, so the only way I'm going to be able to heal is do this. Yeah, like that. Full heal already. That's like oh 200 god, HP. The enemy. Indeed. I keep saying indeed. That's bad. And I'm level 9, so I can actually equip some, uh, that item that we had, so... Zappo, Zippo lighter. Uh, 25% light, uh, 25 fire damage on perfect attack. That's cool. Uh, let's see what else these guys have got. That's just more stuff to sell. And. <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus. Alright then! And. Uh... Oh, it's got chicken bones. Okay. So, let me change my hair back. Oh, it's auto saving as well. So, I guess that's cool. I guess. So, let me go down here. And, um. Actually, I know that we're at 30 minutes right now, but if I just um, talk to the golf kids, I can actually end it then, and then we can actually start doing the split. I don't think we're going to get there that quickly. Oh yeah, I'll take it off in order to get my hair back. There we go. Uh, where was that level 9 weapon that we just had that I was talking about? Where was it? One of these? I don't think it was one of these. Oh no, we couldn't buy it, did we? Because we didn't have enough money. Never mind then. Never mind. So, yeah, let's go talk to the golf kids and finish this off. We're probably going to have to um, put all of our equipment back on because we're going to have to actually change before we talk to them. But we have got everything we need. So once we talk to the golf kids, it won't actually be the end of the uh, 
quest, technically. Because, oh no, 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 wait, there is actually something else we gotta do. So we'll talk to them, learn what we gotta do, and then... So, uh, sorry, I'm thinking a little bit too far ahead, because I thought, just for a second, we talk to them, and then we do the, the, like, the choice on where do we wanna go, but there's actually one more thing we gotta do. Which is really annoying. And I can't remember if we have to actually dress up for the part at the moment. Enjoy your popularity and 1.9 children and your 401k, conformist. Go conform somewhere else, kid. Yeah, we gotta actually change now, so... Let's do that quickly. Back to the inventory once again. Um, I have to actually equip everything. This is annoying. Golf cap. You gotta equip all of this rubbish. Golf clothes. Don't tell me there's golf gloves. Yes, there is golf gloves as well. That is so annoying. That looks so dweebish. I have to equip the hair. The uh, yeah, the hair as well, don't I? my wig. Uh, no, bad at face paint. I don't think that's what's needed. Oh, black eyeliner. I think that's something that we need. I'm not too sure. And we don't need anything of that, so let's do this. There we go, got it. Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You Excuse guys, you. He looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress. It's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah! Uh, There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it. And don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Yep, we got another quest to do. But thankfully, now that we've actually dressed up with this, you don't have to actually dress up like a goth again in order to, um progress the plot again, so when you have to come back to, uh, to complete the quest that they just gave us, you do not have to actually have um, all this equipped. I haven't actually changed that particular equipment yet, all that, but I guess it's do the best I have at the moment, I guess. Where's that one with the patch? That's the patch. So let's take off all this rubbish, because we don't need it. No, we didn't have that on, but we had that on. Alright, I think we're almost backed up to par here. Making sure I have everything that I actually want equipped. Uh, yep, my weapons are still equipped, even though they're not showing. And we're back to how we were. We've got to defy the Royal Society. And I think we'll do that in the next episode. Once again, the music is playing in the loading screen. That is not supposed to happen. But even though we did a lot of equipping and only progressed the plot just slightly, at least we actually progressed the plot. So, in the next episode, guys, we will... Cancel. Do what we need to do. But Become a non-conformist as a frame of mind, as well as a state of being. And with that autosave, that's where I'm ending it. See you guys then.